I am super excited to be doing geometry with you, and I am extra excited to be doing the Pythagorean theorem. It is a beautiful theorem. You know, I'm not going to start off the lesson with this, but the reason it's true comes from, there are a lot of ways to show it's true, but there's some beautiful pictures to show you that it's true. Like the square within a square is actually a proof of the Pythagorean theorem. So if you ever see that on a tiling somewhere, it's actually, there's a secret proof of the Pythagorean theorem. If you want to know that secret proof, you can look it up or maybe I'll tell you at the end of the video if we have time. I want to get through these reps. So the base of a truck, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. But remember, try to figure out why this is true at some point in your life. Look it up. There's some beautiful videos on YouTube that show you why. Um, the base of the truck is six feet by eight feet. How long is it diagonally? So, so in other words, we've got this picture where this is six and this is eight. And we're trying to figure out what this is. And the idea is six squared plus eight squared equals, we'll call this C, right? So this is six is A, eight is B, and C is what we're looking for. And so we get 36 plus 64 equals C squared, but this is just 100 equals C squared, where C equals 10. Now I know what you're thinking, there's a shortcut, just wanted to show you the long way, so we know the answer is 10. The shortcut is there's a special right triangle, which is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. So any triangle that has those proportions, i.e. 6, 8, so 6 is 2 times 3, 8 is 2 times 4, this will be 2 times 5. So you could also use a 3, 4, 5 triangle and multiply everything by 2 to get 10. And I'll use that shortcut whenever I can. So 10. Okay, well, I'm going to use that shortcut for sure, right? So a pencil case that is 3 inches long and 4 inches wide. So again, we've got 3, 4. This is a bread and butter 3, 4, 5 triangle. How long of pencils can he fit if he puts them in diagonally from corner to corner, right? So again, this is three, this is four. So using the three, four, five triangle, this side is five. That's the longest pencil that you could fit into that pouch. Five. Okay, Ethan has a pencil case that is three inches long and four inches wide. How long of pencils can he fit if he puts them in diagonally from one quarter? That's the same question. Three, four, five. We lucked out. Phew. We don't have to do extra work. Okay. A box is 15 feet long by eight feet wide. How wide of a picture frame could be put inside of it diagonally? Okay, so here we've got eight, we've got 15, and we've got eight. And we have to figure out this length here. So this is actually another special Pythagorean triangle, right? But let's go through the math, right? So this is A, B, it's called a Pythagorean triple. So this is A, B, so we'll have eight, A squared, which is 64, plus B squared, 15 times 15 is 225. So this adds up to 2, 89, you could use a calculator if you want. So this is C squared. And then the square root of 289 is 17. So another thing to memorize is this Pythagorean triple, 8, 15, 17, right? So another special type of triangle is take away 8, 15, 17. So next time you see this, you can just go, oh, 8, 15, size of a right triangle. The third one is 17. Otherwise, you'll have to do a little bit of math. Okay, if a box is 16 feet long by 12 feet wide, 
how wide of a picture frame could be put inside it diagonally? Let's try to use a special triangle here. So we've got 12, 16. It doesn't look special, but if what if we use proportions? So what if we divide everything by four? And this would be three. 12 divided by four is three. 16 divided by four is four. And then we know we get five. So we can go ahead and multiply this by four to get what this would have to be. And you are right if you said 20. So we can just go ahead and say 20 here. If a window is 15 feet wide and the diagonal is 17 feet wide, then how tall is the window? Oh, it's a good thing we memorized that Pythagorean triple, right? So 15, the diagonal is 17. Do you remember what this is? Eight, eight, 15, 17, that's a good one to know. I guess I should label, if I'm doing the window, if it's 15 feet wide, I should do that. It doesn't really change the math, but the picture is confusing otherwise. This is 17, this is eight. Okay, so eight. If Addison puts a piece of tape diagonally across her bed that is five inches long, how wide is the bed if it is four inches long? Okay, so we've got a bed. So I guess Addison is a mouse because her bed is really small. Um, if Addison puts a piece of tape diagonally across her bed that is five inches long, so this is five. How wide is the bed if it is four inches long? So that, that means this is four. So this is the width. So what do you think? It's a three, four, five triangle. And I know you guys just probably immediately knew the answer. You saw five, four, three, but that's not a good way to live life. You gotta, you gotta draw some pictures. You gotta enjoy it. It's like eating food. Just cause you know you can eat fast doesn't mean you should. What is the height of a triangle whose hypotenuse is 20 inches and width is 12 inches? Okay, so hypotenuse is 12. The width is 12. Let's do this thing where we, oh, sorry, hypotenuse is 20. Let's do this thing where we divide everything by, what's a number that goes into both? Four. So that would give us a five here. It would give us a three here. Ah, this would be a four. So if we wanna go back to get this, we can multiply by four and get that this is four times four, which is 16. So it should be 16 inches. Sydney needs to make a triangle with a hypotenuse of five inches and a width of three inches. What is the height of the triangle? Okay, so hypotenuse is five, width is three. The height is three, four, five, so the height is four. If a window is 12 feet wide and the diagonal is 13 feet wide, then how tall is the window? Aha, another triple is gonna show up here. This is exciting. So it's 12 feet wide. That's, that, that, that shouldn't say 13 feet wide, it should say 13 feet long. That's confusing, this should just be, they should just, we should just get rid of these words. If the window is 12 feet wide and the diagonal is 13 feet, what's this? So you can do 12 squared plus B squared equals 13 squared. So 12 squared is 144 plus B squared is 169. 13 squared is 169. 169 minus 144 is 25. So B squared equals 25, which would make B equals to five. And this is another right triangle to remember, the 5, 12, 13 right triangle. You don't have to remember any of these. You can use the formula every time. 
but it's, I mean, in, in class, it's probably helpful to have some of these down, right? So there's the three, four, five, there's the five, 12, 13. And we did one other, which I'm, is, is escaping me. Um, so yes. So the answer here is five. But you never have to memorize, you can always use the formula a squared plus b squared equals c squared if you want. Okay, guys, the Pythagorean theorem is really cool. I, I, I recommend you look up a video on pr the proof of the Pythagorean theorem if you get a chance. Share it with your parents. All right, have a great day.